Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In my previous video, where I enabled the Arch user repository, I noticed that PPSSPP, a PlayStation Portable emulator, was available for the Pinebook Pro with Manjaro. So here I have my old PlayStation Portable. And back in the old days, this is just an example of Wipeout Pure. It used the universal media discs. So they were like very small, protected, you could say, sort of like CDs. But in this demo, I'm going to demonstrate another game. I wasn't able to find the disc so quickly. But just just as with the previous video with Final Fantasy X on the PlayStation 2, meanwhile I was able to find Final Fantasy X and X2, the HD remaster for the PlayStation 4. So I will keep digging for the original PlayStation uh, sorry, Final Fantasy X for the PlayStation 2. So, but going back to PPSSPP, the PlayStation Portable emulator. So, when you go to add and remove software, you can search for PPSSPP. You need to have the Arch user repository enabled. And here you can see that it finds PPSSPP. Now, unfortunately, I noticed that it doesn't work. Or at least it doesn't want to build it. So it says it also needs the common git. And when you click apply, It will try to build it. And here it says it's not available for the Arch 64 ARM architecture. So I need to do some more investigation if we can get this working or not. So, what I did was I did some more investigation and here you have the PPSSPP website. It has a lot of versions and it also has a version for Linux. But that is probably just for Intel and AMD processors. So that's not going to work on the Pinebook Pro, at least not easily. You could try to perhaps run it through box 86 or box 64. That's something I haven't installed yet, so that probably is not going to work. And well, since it is available for Android, then I guess it should be possible to run it on 64 bit ARM Linux. But I will have to do some more investigation on this. So as I was investigating, I saw this Reddit thread and it said it's working great on ARM64. But now it turns out that it is for Windows on ARMs, on ARM. And it has a link to a file probably on his personal Google Drive. And there are some links and here it says you can try to rebuild it yourself. Well, I was a bit too lazy for that. And of course, a word of warning, is it a good idea to install software from just some random site? In general, you have to be careful with that. So, I downloaded it, I ran it through virustotal.com, 
nothing came up there, which is a good sign. Not really sure how accurate it is with Windows on ARM. I mean with the regular Intel and AMD Windows, then probably this works fine. Not really sure on Windows on ARM, I still need to inves investigate that too. But for now, I'll trust it and the only thing is, is that yeah, you're running software within your own network, so let's just say, in theory, if it has malware, it could try to take your files hostage on your network, those kind of things, so yeah, do be careful with that. Usually it's safer just to compile the software, but then only when you can yeah, actually read the source code, or at least when the source code makes any sense to you, because otherwise you just compile it anyway. So, but for now, this all looks okay. And I'm going to test the game Monster Hunter Freedom. And it might give some errors, and when you can't work around that error, you can download a save file, for instance like from GameSpot. I will leave the link in the description. So, but now I will switch to my Samsung Galaxy Book Go, which has the Snapdragon 7C 2nd Gen ARM processor. And I already installed PPSSPP there and I will show you Monster Hunter Freedom. So here we have the Samsung Galaxy Book Go. And we'll start PPSSPP Windows on ARM version. So here it is. And let's see. I will try to find Monster Hunter Freedom. And it's in this directory, so can do it like this and when you do right click then you can see some information about the game so I'm going with the default settings and here it says error code now, perhaps this is just something that was already a problem when you uh, played the original on the PlayStation Portable itself. Because it's trying to load a save game, but it's not there. So, when you press circle, then you get this window, and then it says it wants to create a save file. So go with that, press X. And now it starts. So this is just some pre-rendered animation. So, as the name already suggests, Monster Hunter, you're going to hunt monsters. 
and you can select like different kinds of weapons like sword and shield or a great sword or a bow or a lance so depending on the type of monster some weapons will give you an advantage and well of course the game itself won't look as good as this video but I guess you get the idea what this game is about so press start do a new game So we'll go with this. Um, let's see. I don't So I'm not gonna show you much of this game, I only want to show you just that it is able to play this. I will walk around a little bit in the village and I think that's probably enough proof that you can play PlayStation Portable games on the Samsung Galaxy Book Go with an ARM processor. So this is all real-time rendered. This is not animation. And you can also uh, map uh, some of the keys to your keyboard. But I'm playing with this with the mouse now. So yeah, that's okay. So he will give you some money and the advice to look in your chests in your own house, look if there are some more weapons there. So if you go inside here, then you can select your missions. So this is all for now. I will try to figure out if I can compile it for the Pinebook Pro and hopefully I can show you that in a video later on. So I hope to see you again in my next video.